Hello, my name's Matt, and in this video I'm going to show you this, which is my homemade wooden PC case. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, it's quite a bit different than the standard PC layout, and this is because I redesigned it to be very cool running, but also very quiet. They were the two main points I wanted to get right with this case, and you cannot get both of them really in a standard PC case unless you go with water cooling. For example, this is a standard PC case. As you can see, the internal volume is considerably larger than my wooden one, and this means that the fans have to move more air before the air inside the case is completely renewed. Air is typically taken in by a front fan, and the air then blows over the components and is taken out by an exhaust fan and the PSU. This isn't the most efficient airflow ever. For example, the CPU cooler actually gets air that's slightly warmer because of the graphics card that's under it, and the PSU takes in hot air that the CPU is generating. That's not really very good. So with my case, I designed it so that the air gets taken in from the bottom and just goes straight up, which also goes along with heat rising, so it rises out of the case, it's going in one direction. The air is taken in by three intake fans on the bottom. The CPU, for example, gets its own nice fresh air supply, and then after it's used that air to cool itself down, it is exhausted straight out of the case. Same goes for the graphics card and the PSU. Um, under the PSU, you can see the hard drives, now these hard drives are mounted on elastic, which ensures that the vibrations that the hard drives generate don't go through to the wood of the case. This is brilliant because they end up being as quiet as solid state drives. As you can see, you can't see any wood on the inside of the case, and this is because I've lined it with sponge, which is covered in silk. The silk is just there for looks, and also so that the air can blow smoothly over it. Um, the fans are mounted in this sponge so that the vibrations that they generate also don't go through to the wood of the case. And the sponge helps absorb any sort of sounds that might be bouncing around inside there. Although you can't see it, the entire case is lined with aluminium so that there won't be any problems with interference. The side of the case also has sponge and silk on and aluminium and it just fits on the case like so. Now, you may have noticed that there's no optical drive or even a power button, and that's because I wanted it to be operated remotely using this, which I call the external control unit. Now, I'll be covering this extensively in the next video, but briefly, it's got things like an optical drive, power button, USB ports, card reading, audio jacks, everything you'd want, really and it's connected to the computer by a 5 meter wire which runs on top of my shelf to a hole in the wall to a cupboard above my door that's accessed on the other side. This is where the computer resides and in practice you cannot hear it at all inside my bedroom. The computer is indeed very cool and the temperature of the CPU, although overclocked, never really goes above uh, 60 Celsius and that's pretty good, especially when you can't hear it. Now, this was quite a hard build, it took quite a long time. I learnt a lot about woodwork. Before this project, I'd not done any woodwork at all. Well, a tiny bit, but, you know, not very much. As you can see, it's actually based on two drawers, and uh, they were almost the perfect dimensions. I even learnt how to sew to make this PC case, because of the uh, sponge and silk. That took a load of time. I think that was the most time consuming part, sewing the silk onto the sponge. It was ridiculous. And thinking about it now, I could have just stapled it on. Oh well, anyway, but yeah, it was a very worthwhile project to do, and I'm very happy with the results. So, there we have it. If you liked this project and this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them as soon as I can. If you want to have a look at my channel and see the other projects I've been working on, that would be awesome. Okay, Matt out.